Welcome to the Children's Liturgy for Holy Family Weekend. Today we celebrate the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Our families are very important to us. When we're with our family, we feel loved and we feel safe. And it doesn't matter where we are as long as we're together. We could be on a trip, we could be camping, we could be um, at grandma's house, we could be at the store, but as long as they're with our family, we feel safe and we feel loved. Today we'll learn a little bit about Jesus' family. Loving God, families come in all shapes and sizes. While no two families are alike, all are called to holiness. In our own families, help us to live together in joy and peace. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. So let's light our candles. Do any of you know what the fourth commandment is? Honor your mother and your father. Well, in today's first reading, we'll learn what happens to people who keep this commandment to honor, respect, and obey your mother and your father. And that includes anybody who's in charge of you someone who takes care of you. Honor, love, and respect them. A reading from the book of Sirach. Children, the Lord expects you to honor your father and has given your mother authority over you. If you honor your father, your sins will be forgiven. If you praise your mother, treasure will be stored up in heaven for you. If you honor your father, your own children will make you happy, and all of your prayers will be answered. If you respect your father, you will live a long life, and if you listen to the Lord, your mother can relax. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the responsorial psalm today, please respond. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. The Lord will bless you if you respect him and obey his laws. Your fields will produce and you will happy, you will be happy and all will be well. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife will be as fruitful as a grapevine and just as an olive tree is rich with olives your home will be rich with healthy children. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. That is how the Lord will bless everyone who respects him. I pray that the Lord will bless you from Zion and let Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. We heard how God rewards those who honor their parents. In this reading, St. Paul advises us on how to act toward one, everyone in our families. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, 
God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Put up with each other. And forgive anyone who does you wrong, just as God has forgiven you. Love is more important than anything else. It is what ties everything completely together. Each one of you is part of the body of Christ, and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ, control your thoughts and be grateful. Let the message about Christ completely fill your lives while you use all your wisdom to teach and instruct each other. With thankful hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. Whatever you say or do should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus, as you give thanks to God the Father because of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ale, 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 hallelujah. Ale, 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 hallelujah. Ale, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the peace of Christ rule in your hearts and the fullness of his message live within you. Ale, 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 Today's gospel story takes place in three different lands, Judea, Egypt, and Galilee. Judea is where Jesus was born under a bright star. Egypt was the land of pyramids where Jesus spent time as a baby. Galilee was the land where Jesus grew up and where Joseph had his carpenter shop. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. An angel from the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angel said, Get up! Hurry! And take the child and his mother to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you to return because Herod is looking for the child and wants to kill him. That night, Joseph got up and took his wife and the child to Egypt. There they stayed until Herod died. So the Lord's promise came true, just as the prophet had said, I called my son out of Egypt. After King Herod died, an angel from the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph while he was still in Egypt. The angel said, get up and take the child and his mother back to Israel the people who wanted to kill him 
are now dead. Joseph got up and left with them for Israel. But when he heard that Herod's son Archelaus was now ruler of Judea, he was afraid to go there. Then, in a dream, he was told to go to Galilee. And they went to live there in the town of Nazareth. So the Lord's promise came true, just as the prophet had said, he will be called a Nazarene. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I told you we'd learn something about the family of Jesus in the Gospel. What did we learn? Well, it sounds like they moved around a lot. He was born in Bethlehem, and then he had to go to Egypt, and you know they didn't have cars in those days, and so how do you think they got there? They had to walk and maybe ride on a donkey. It probably took them a long time. And there's a desert between Israel and Egypt, and so they probably were tired and hungry and hot and thirsty. It was hard. And then they were strangers in a strange land, Egypt. You know, that's that place where they built those pyramids for the pharaohs. It wasn't like their hometown at all. We don't know how long they lived there. So that's where Jesus was when he was growing up. And then they had to move back to the country they came from. And I'm sure they were happy to go back home, but they had to walk through the desert again. Oh, my, that must have been hard. But at least they were together. And then when they got back, they probably were going to go back to Bethlehem where Jesus was born. But the king was there, and he wasn't, that new king wasn't any friendlier than his father had been. So Joseph didn't really know what to do. And they said, go on, keep going. The angel told him to move on to Galilee. So that was more rocks. And from what I've read in the Bible, Galilee is hilly, so now they weren't in a desert. They were going up and down hills. It's hard walking. And finally, they settled in the town of Nazareth. So what does that tell you about his family? They moved around a lot. They needed each other. And Joseph keeps get, getting messages from angels. So that tells me that Joseph was the type of man who really put his trust in God. And he would have a dream, and, and an angel would tell him to take his family and go someplace. And Joseph trusted God, and he did that. And then Mary didn't argue with him when, she, when Joseph told her, we have to go. She didn't say, well, I just had a baby. I can't get up and move to Egypt. She listened to her husband. So that tells me that Mary and Joseph loved each other and trusted each other. They listened to each other. They probably talked about what they would need to take with them on their journey. So they cooperated with each other. And then Jesus, when he was a baby, he just went wherever his mother and father went. But when he was a little bit older, he must have listened too. And he had to walk or ride the donkey part of the time. And he had to do what his parents told him. And he learned from them how to listen, how to love, how to respect, how to trust each other. So he really did learn a lot about the Holy Family in that gospel today. Let me ask you this. Is there only one holy family? Is the holy family only Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? No. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph we call the holy family because they're the example for us to see what a holy family is. We can make our families holy. How can we make our families holy? 
well, what did you learn in the gospel today? We have to put our trust in God. We have to listen to each other. We have to cooperate with each other. We should pray together. If you do those things with your family, then your family is a holy family too. So celebrate, for this is your weekend too. And remember to pray to the holy family to help your family be holy. Now please respond, this I do believe, to each of the things that I say. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are a divine community of love. This I do believe. This I do believe. The family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph shows us family life at its best. This I do believe. This I do believe. The Holy Catholic Church brings together all children of God into one family of love. This I do believe. This I do believe. Just as God loved and protected the Holy Family, God also cares for our families. So let us ask our loving God for all that we need to stay safe and happy. Our response to each petition will be, Hear us, O Lord. For the Holy Father and all bishops and priests, that they will care for the church the way St. Joseph cared for his family. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all the families of our parish, that they will grow together in love and move forward in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all the families of New York, Binghamton and our entire area, and the nation, that they will be safe from harm and free from danger. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Now if you have anyone or anything that you would like to pray for, especially your family today, please do that now. Hear us, O Lord. Let us pray. Today we will close with a very old prayer for protection. Usually it is said in the evening before sleep. But since we won't be together this evening, we'll pray it now. Please repeat after me. Protect us, O Lord. Protect us, O Lord, while we are awake and while we are asleep. While we are awake and while we are asleep. That we may keep watch with Christ. That we may keep watch with Christ and rest in peace. And rest in peace. Amen. Enjoy your family these next days of Christmas time.